Greetings. Here's a quick but important note when you're working with arrays inside methods. Here's the note. If you pass an array value as an input to a method, and then you change that value inside the method, it won't change your original array values. Because what's happening is it's taking the value, in this case 2, and it copies it into this local variable. The local variable changes, but that hasn't changed your original values. Here's the important part. If you pass the entire array as a parameter, as with my method 2 here, what you're doing is you're actually passing a reference to this array. You are not copying the values from the array into a local variable. What that means is if you make a change on the inside of your method here, um, this array reference to A is actually pointing back to your original array values. So the change that occurs in here will persist once your method is complete. As you can see when I run it, it's changed the middle value here to 5 even though the, the change occurred inside the method and I'm only displaying my array values outside of the method. The reason this might be important for your homework is if your method of figuring out whether or not you've reached the same index in your array involves changing the values of the array, you have to realize that those changes will persist between method calls. So you might need to make a copy of your array, or you might need to reset your array back to its original values before you continue your brute force search approach. That's it.